Hey, good morning everybody. Um, you guys probably know me as Klutzy Gamer, or you know me as the creator of Betwixt Bobbles, or Magpie Muddles, or Bomb Bomb Betties, or From Parapopulous, or Reign of Virus The Hub, or Raincaster! Oh my god, I have a lot of things. Anyways, this is something I kind of wanted to do, which is hence why I started Raincaster, so you guys could get the behind the scenes kind of stuff. Now, what keeps me fueled behind the scenes? You see, I'm looking over there. No, that's not where the camera is. The camera is there. Anyways, what keeps me going behind the scenes is coffee and a lot of coffee. So, I'm gonna let you guys in on something I noticed. Slight review, if you will. So, let me flip this thing around. I can't flip it around. Alright, we're gonna do it old school then. We're gonna flip. Watch the ceiling. Okay, so, you see this lovely Keurig, and you see this. All right, so my Keurig is a 2.0. I'm showing you it for a reason. Not because there's a pretty shiny light, but, I mean, there is. And I do have that. And, I mean, essentially, my cup is a mug size. Anyways, let me flip you back around. So, Keurig, I think, is the most wasteful fucking product ever. I love it. It's convenient. Please don't get me wrong. But I think they're wasteful as shit because of these packagings. All right, so we're going to deal with this. First of all, if you get these, recycle them. Rip your foil off, dump your coffee grinds in a compost or out in your garden because coffee that's been put through is actually good for your garden, not, not coffee that's not been. That'll actually be really bad. And then you can recycle these things. Please do that. So I was very excited when I, and you'll forgive the quality of this, it'll get better, I promise. But you guys know me, it's raw, it's ed not, un not edited. When I saw these, these are from President's Choice. You guys may not get this. This is Canada, Canadia land. I live in Canada. Um, um, and they have like just what you'd see inside one of these without the extra plastic. So I was thrilled about that, first of all. And these were on sale. So this was an Irish cream flavor. And I've just made a huge mess over my counter. Anyways. Um, don't like it. This had no flavor. Now I can tell you guys the size of that mug. This is my mug. It barely fits under my Keurig. Sorry for the dirty counter, but I mean, there's Keurig. There's its cousin who makes me two cups of coffee. Uh, and there's my lovely tea and my lovely coffee boxes up there. But we're not going to get to that. And there's coffee everywhere else too. But, um, point of this was, I can take one of these, it doesn't matter the flavor, um, and I can brew it once regular, and then put it again. If, and you guys, if you didn't know, you can do this for something that big. Um, you could definitely brew this twice. Um, all you have to do is the second time put it through on strong. Uh, it might be a little milder, but it's not much. Anyways, so I tried that trick with this. First of all, the first brew through... wasn't good at all. Um, the flavor was barely there and I really want to like this because I love the packaging. It's really minimal packaging but the flavor was not there. And to brew it through the second time the flavor was definitely not there. Now what I will tell you is this was fabulous mixed with hot chocolate. Um, it was absolutely a lovely base for that to give it a little caffeine boost but um, otherwise it was not so great. And I really wanted to like you, President's Choice. And maybe that's why you had these ones on sale. Um, yeah. And I mean, they come in this really cute little airtight bag, so they stay fresh because they're obviously not sealed at the bottom. But I don't know, gang. I really wanted to like it, and I didn't. So let me tell you what my favorite flavors are right now. My favorite flavors right now, and it's strange because they hate it, Kahlua. hate Kahlua. Can't stand it. Love the coffee. And the lovely, I don't know if you guys get this assorted box. It is a lovely assorted box. It's backwards for you. The, um, the, um, French, the vanilla hazelnut that comes in this box. And the Kahlua comes in this box as well. All the coffee that comes in this box is really good. I have no problem. No problems with Tim Hortons. I've had no problems with a lot of coffees. But this particular Irish cream President's Choice version, 
did not like. Didn't have the flavor, and I don't know why, and I'm really sad. But anyways, because it's coffee that keeps me going, that's fine. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I wanted to share the tip of the whole you can do it twice in your thing as long as, you know, that would probably make you one of these if you did it twice, or at least three quarters of it, I would say. Um, but it's a good trick if you haven't tried it. And I guess that's it. I just wanted to do a quick review about coffee and what I liked and what I didn't. And that's kind of what you're going to see on this channel is it's not going to be my gaming channel. It's not going to be how to make things. It's going to be behind the scenes still. So my reviews of stuff that I've tried, like coffee, which keeps me going, as I've said 50,000 times, but you guys, you need to know, you need to understand that. Caffeine plus me is a good thing. Um, and just sort of maybe vlogs about how the week is going or stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much what it's going to be. Maybe some how-tos? I don't know. We'll see. But if you're looking for gaming, you're going to go to my channel, Klutzy Gamer. And if you're looking for Parapopulous, well, we don't have anything on YouTube. We have the um, podcast, which you can find on iTunes, or there's a, sus a subscription link. Um, I may not be able to link those to you in here because YouTube is really fussy about cards and stuff, but I will put the links below. And you can always go to my web hub, which is Reign of Iris, which is what this Raincaster thing is for. And, um, yeah. Stay caffeinated, stay happy, I guess. And if you don't want to caffeinate, send it my way because I can use it. Uh, <laughs> so welcome to the channel. It's a hell of a first video. But you guys, you'll get to know me. This is what it is. It's raw, it's unedited, and yeah. And my hair is all over the place again. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Alright gang, you guys are super. Thanks for watching whatever this was. And um, look forward to more of sort of this idea. We're all excited now, aren't we? Alright, so we'll see you guys soon. Have a lovely, wonderful day and stay awesome. Alright? And just... You know, take a, wor a word of advice from the fabulous Candy Johnson, who I do not personally know, but have great respect for. Somebody else's success doesn't take away from yours. And just know that. Yeah, I like her because she's positive. You guys should check her out. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do like a thing of like recommended YouTube channels. Of like my personal sort of thing. Hmm. Anyways, if there's something you guys want to see on the channel, let me know. And otherwise, I will see you guys again really soon as I'm like looking probably off camera somewhere, awkwardly staring into the camera. <sighs> All right. So, slowly meet and greet. Uh, I'm going to go have that coffee I made now. All right. We'll talk to you later.